be a good day. Even if I make it myself, it's gonna be a good day. I don't need no one else, I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do, I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too. Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. It's Thursday, August 16th, 2007, and here is today's top story. The 2008 Super Bowl in Phoenix will air on Fox and emceeing the center ring during halftime, Ryan Seacrest, though who he will host has not been announced yet. Seacrest will also handle the pre-game hosting duties. We have more coming up next, but first this message from Kavael. And remember, if you had a promo or a commercial in this video, we would all be watching your stuff right now. There's a new drink for sophisticated tastes. It's called Cavallero. A beer whose unique and full flavor comes from only the finest caviar available. So if you're looking for something new and bold, try Cavallero. Cavallero. All the row, none of the fish. Coming up under more good stuff today, ION TV will air CBS 48 Hours, The Hills premiere scores for MTV, WeTV goes royal, and NBC cleans up on Tuesday night. ION Media Networks Incorporated and a deal with CBS Television Distribution will air the news program 48 Hours on ION Television. The show will air weeknights starting in fourth quarter. These previously aired 48 hour programs will be refreshed with new graphics, wraps by host and CBS News correspondent Aaron Moriarty, in addition to updated information pertaining to the investigation. Food Network travels the world in its latest half-hour primetime show about food and eating, Have Fork, Will Travel, starring comedian Zane Lamprey. The series, which debuts September 4th at 9.30, will follow Zane as he explores new foods and customs in countries from France to Thailand and Jamaica to Brazil. MTV's Monday night premiere of The Hills scored an average 3.84 rating with people 12 to 34 during the 10 o'clock hour. Now, the season 3 debut was actually a two 30-minute back-to-back episodes, and the 10 o'clock show posted a 3.7 people 12 to 34, while the 10.30 p.m. show improved by 9%, earning a 4.0 in the same demo. In addition to its recently expanded block of wedding programming, WeTV wants to be the cable destination for royal-related programming. WeTV is introducing new, original, and acquired programs and specials over the next several months. American Princess Season 2 premieres August 19th with eight one-hour episodes. Twenty young women will participate in a series of challenges to test their suitability for leading a princess lifestyle. Australian Princess premieres October 9th with eight one-hour episodes about ordinary Australian women trying for a real British royal title. The network also scheduled upcoming specials with a royal twist, Royal Vacation Homes, slated for next January, and How to Marry a Prince in February, as well as three focused on the late Princess Diana, Diana the Night She Died and Diana Revealed, both airing on August 31st, and The Curse of Diana's Dresses on December 1st. BBC America will explode a new action drama series on its schedule as Ultimate Force opens September 25th at 8 o'clock. Each weekly episode chronicles the perilous undercover missions led by Special Air Service Unit known as Red Troop, which is a UK version of the Navy SEALs. Voom's Gallery HD, the high-definition channel focused on visual arts, introduces two new original series this month. Aperture begins August 21st and takes a snapshot look at today's best art photographers interviewed by celebrities, and Dead Art, which opens August 29th and hosted by Twisted Sister member Dee Snyder, will tour famous cemeteries across America. Well, we're trying something new on the Synopsis website, Video Resumes. We invite anyone looking for work to create your own video resume, a maximum of three minutes, send it to us, and we'll post it on our website. You can check out the page by going to synopsis.com and then click on Video Resume link on the right side navigator bar. For all the details, email me to trish at synopsis.com. 
Moving along to production and development, CBS has given a put pilot commitment for an untitled drama adventure pilot from Jerry Bruckheimer and Warner Brothers TV about globe-trotting freelance treasure hunters. Though in keeping with Bruckheimer's other current series, this show is looking to have less to do with Indiana Jones and more to do with CSI meets Amazing Grace with archaeologists. The script will be written by Bruckheimer's co-creators on the project, Cyrus Voris and Ethan Wright. Here's the rating summary for Tuesday according to Live Plus Same Day Ratings from Nielsen Media Research. NBC led a clean sweep Tuesday night with a 2.89 adult 18-49. Starting out, NBC's America's Got Talent won at 8 o'clock with a 2.910. At 9 o'clock, the combo of America's Talent and the Singing Bee averaged a top place, 3.310. Then NBC's final win of the night was the Law & Order SVU Encore, which posted a 2.27. Today's Daily Myth, Shakespeare wrote the story of Hamlet. Nope. William Shakespeare is generally known as the greatest playwright who ever lived, even though most of his plays were not original, but adaptations of earlier stories. The tragedy of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark in 1603, probably his most famous play, was based on an ancient Scandinavian story. Well, that's a wrap for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new uh, executive moves, more on ratings, loads of new classified ads, a few other stories that didn't make it into this podcast, and of course, tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. The music in synopsis was composed and performed by David Stango. This podcast is a synopsis media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanek. I'm going to have a good day. If I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.